Hello, welcome to Football Tenable, the series in which you're looking for 10 different things from a football-related category. And today we're joined by Jamie Hutchinson. How are you doing, mate? Hi, mate. Yeah, not too bad, mate. Yourself? Uh, losing my voice a little bit because I was shouting at the referee last night against Charlton. I don't have you down as one of these. No, referee got everything wrong last night. The goal scorer that won the game for Charlton should have been sent off, but never mind. We're here for Tenable and we've got a nice category to start off with you, Jamie. You're a big Manchester United fan, so let's dive straight into it. And what I'd like you to name me are the outfield 10 from the 1999 Champions League final. Time starts now. Right, number two, Gary Neville, right back. Great job. Number five, Ronnie Onsen, centre-back. Yep. Number six, Yap Stam, centre-back. <laughs> just really straight through. He, do he doesn't even need to think, number he just knows it. <laughs> number three, Danny Serwin, left-back. Yep. Left midfield, 15, Jesper Blanquist. That was the, probably the trickiest one, you've got it. Number eight. Nicky Butt, centre midfield. Yep. Number seven, David Beckham, centre midfield. Number 11, Gage, right midfield that day. Mm, he was. It's, like, it's almost like you've got the team sheet in front of you, literally. Uh, you know exactly where. Uh, I watch it <laughs> uh, like on a monthly basis. Lovely. And then it was the greatest partnership. The Ant and Decker Premier League Nights Football, uh, York and Cole up front. Very nice. And, nine. and I did do a five minute timer. You've done it in 55 seconds. So <laughs> well done. That's probably a record time for a uh, tenable round. I thought it'd be a good one, though, because it's like those. Um you know, Johnson and uh, Bloomquist, whether you, whether you remember those, but obviously you, you know your stuff. For especially like United games and stuff, starting 11s is, is like me, little autism. <laughs> Lovely. Um, and then obviously Shergerman. Ollie off the bench to get the winners in the die moments. That's, yeah. One of the best finals up there with the Istanbul 3 3 with Liverpool, of course. Don't, don't, don't sour it with, with that sort of chat. As a final. neutral, as a neutral. <laughs> but yeah, very nice. Right, mate. This might seem easy at, at first, but I want you to name 10 European Golden Shoe winners since 2000. So the Golden Shoe is the... The, the top scorer in Europe. So is it like in the, the Champions Bayern. League or is it physically in no, all of no, no, European the leagues? in all the leagues. Right. So say if Ronaldo got 34 league goals one season, mm -hmm. he'd win the Golden Shoe if Raul only got 29 or whatever. Right, okay. So it's just this slight... So top scorer in all the, all the major leagues. Lovely. Start with turn now then and we will start off with a bit of oh i want to go fruity to start do you know i'll just get the bread and butter ones out of the way go messy first get him on yeah i, I won't um try and <laughs> no. do a bit of drama is messy there yeah. yeah uh Lewandowski, did he get into yeah. that yeah that's sustainable yeah you see i could go really far back with like a good muller or something just for the dads uh, oh, just since 2000 oh since 2000 sorry that adding rules as we go along but anyway since 2000 then uh cristiano ronaldo obviously get him on yeah he's in there yeah so there's 10 different people since 2000 i'm trying to think there's who. about there's 14 different right, ones. Fair enough. So you've got a bit of leeway. Mm hmm. Try the early 2000s. Before Messi and Ronaldo. Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry's there, yeah. There we Two go. time winner. I don't know how he didn't win a Ballon d'Or, to be honest. Really. I'm on Medved, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, stole it. Stole it off him. Let's try. Mm, he wasn't that great in the 2000s, R9. Might have had one or two seasons, but nothing crazy. Do you know what I'll go for? Luis Suarez next. Yeah, Suarez is in. There we go. 13 14 season. Mm hmm. Is there any Man United related ones? That is the question. Let's try Rooney for a year. He did get a 30 Rooney's odd. not there, mate. Not there, no. I'll Enough. give you a clue. There's a United-related one, but he it didn't, it didn't win it for United. Which is interesting, because I've already said Ronaldo. I'll have to come back to that. Two minutes into my timer, three minutes to go. Let's try Fernando Torres, another Liverpool-related one. No, Torres isn't there. No, not there. There's my second life. Do you want another clue? Yeah, go on then. He had a good night last night. Good night last night? I don't know if you physically mean last night, or is that like a saying that... No, last night he had a good night. He had a good night last night. Eddie Howe won Newcastle against Blackburn. It's not that. That would be a shout, wouldn't it? Yeah, Eddie Howe. Howe. <laughs> What am I missing? Pretty Nathan Jones beat Derby last night as Charlton manager. <laughs> Problem is I didn't watch any of the FA Cup because I was at the Derby match. I mean, City... Yeah, let's go Erling Haaland. There you go. Yeah, Erling Haaland. I didn't even get that from the game. I literally got that because I thought of Haaland. Yeah, five, he scored five last night. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah that yeah. might be why. De Bruyne assisted four. So. Mm -hmm. You're struggling pre-Messi and Ronaldo. What? I'll give you another clue. One, someone that you like, I think you like, is someone like you've used in tic-tac-toe and stuff. It's just like Zlatan. 
would he be up there? He's one of your boys, yeah. Would it be Cavani? Cavani got good, good numbers at PSG. Yeah, let's go Zlatan. Not Zlatan. No, nope, there's my fun life gun. Go no. on then. Reveal I'll, the... I'll uh, give you this, mate. So, the one who's sort of your boy is Ciro with Mobile. Yeah, yeah, Mobile's a good shout, to be fair, with his Dortmund severe the movement. The United player who flourished after leaving is Diego Forla. Very true, yeah. I enter. He won it twice, actually, as well. Absolute legend with his club, Francesco Totti. Totti's an interesting one. In, in the 2000s, yeah. he, he hit the highest number of goals... That's quite impressive. Another, well, well I've forgotten Italian, uh, I suppose, Luca Toni. I was going to say Luca Toni or like um, Del Piero, something like that. I was just thinking like yeah. with them winning the World Cup. We've got an Englishman on here, Kevin Phillips. Why didn't I think of him? I literally, I, I yeah. said it the other day for um, Sunderland Southampton. I was like, the fact that he scored 30 goals in a season and only played like five times for England is mental. But then we had ridiculous yeah, that, strikers. That era of strikers, so one it, I suppose, yeah. as well. Even like Andy Cole didn't get much of a seat in. Celtic legend. United legends, I suppose. Uh, Henrik Larsson. That's another impressive one. Didn't didn't really expect him on the list, but fair enough. Uh, I mean, he can start panning Scotland. Sorry, Scotland fans, but... <laughs> Of absolute icon of turn of the century football teams, one of the, the streets won't forget teams. Roy Mackay, Deportivo La Coruña. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. And the last one, really impressive. You got this at home, uh, Mario Jardel. Jardel uh, of, of Porto. He was one of the early players I remember who had more goals than games for his club. Yeah, he did. Yeah, 130 goals for Porto in the league and 125 games. And then he went to Bolton, didn't score a single goal. <laughs> Anyone could do it, Porto. Try and do it oh. in uh, in Bolton. Right then, it uh, segues quite nicely into my next category for you. And what I'd like you to name me are the top 10 duos in Premier League history for combined goals and assists. Right, so partnerships for the same team? Yep, same team. There is multiples of the same team, but different combinations, yeah. if that makes sense. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good question, that. Yeah. I'll try Lampard and Drogba. Very good duo. They are second on the list with 36 goal combinations for Chelsea, of course. I mean, that seems quite like 36 isn't like a big number, but obviously together oh. that is tenable, of course. I'll go Gerard and Torres. They sort of had a good partnership. Gerard and Torres, unfortunately, is not wow. tenable. It's not on the list. Is your first life gone? I mean, Torres, Torres was only there like a few seasons kind of thing, so the longevity. Every Gerard threw ball ended in the Torres goal back then. I, think, yeah, I don't know if York and Cole is too obvious, because it was only like York kind of fell off after the the 99 season mm. really, so. I'll try Henri and Burkamp. Amazingly Thierry Henry is on the list but Dennis Burkamp isn't I will give you that oh as a little God. clue to help you out a little bit <laughs> because it is one of those lists that's like it's good but there is some interesting answers here I'll tell you there's not actually a single Man United one oh. Wow, okay. Yeah. What about Silva and Aguero? David Silva and Aguero is tenable. That is number three on the list. 29 goals together as a partnership. Apparently, Sergio Aguero is coming out of retirement. I've seen a little rumour about that. That'll be interesting to see what he gets up to. Oh, he'll probably sign for Luton and still get an trick against us. Oh, he's getting to like into Miami to play with Messi and Suarez and just have a bit of fun over there. Do you want a clue? Yeah, go on. There is one, two, three. Three different Liverpool-related combinations of more recent times. Let's just put it that way. Salah and Mane. Salah and Mane is actually number 10 on the list with 22 oh. goal contributions. <laughs> Bottom of the pile, but it is tenable. Number one on the list has 47 goal contributions, which is 11 more than Drogba and Kane. Uh, Drogba and Lampard. Oh. Kane and Son. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's what I was like, <laughs> slipping up. I was like, how has he not got Kane and Son yet? These two oh, literally oh. every week pass into each other scoring. Yeah. All right, all right. So I've got, got one life left. Yeah. Yep, you got the top three at least. There is actually another Tottenham one, but I don't know. That's interesting. There is two Arsenal and two more Liverpool, and then there's another team. And I think if I gave you the other team, you get it. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, you can mean yeah. I'll try Henri and Perez then. Robert Perez and Thierry Henry are joint third on the list with 29 goals, oh. same as uh, Aguero and Silva. Uh, Firmino was proper, like, the, he seemed to be like the assister in them. In that front three, didn't he? Mm -hmm. um, way off the Salah. I wonder if the other Chelsea one is, because it's got to be Lampard, just because of his longevity and how long he was there for. He would be the striker with him. Other than Drogba, there's not many good Chelsea number nines over the years. No, I did, like Diego Costa, he's, he had a good season, didn't he? I'll try a risky one, just for the sake of it. I'll try Keane and Defoe. Robbie Keane and Jermaine Defoe are not tenable, but there is a, another Tottenham-related one, but it's oh. from the 90s. He played for United as well, to be fair. Sheringham. It is Terry, Teddy Sheringham and Darren Anderton. That's, that's the wow. interesting one on the list. Yeah, 27 combinations for those two. So they were number 
five. Number six was Salah and Firmino. So you did miss out on that. You were there. You were floating around it. You're like, surely. Yeah, Firmino. That front three. It's probably up there with like top combination front threes. That'd be a good one as well, doing front threes. Another Arsenal one. Thierry Henry and Freddie Lundberg with 24 combinations. Then there's another Liverpool one in the nine, maybe early 2000s. Yeah, late 90s, early 2000s. Following Owen. It wasn't Owen. It was Steve McManaman, surprisingly. Oh. Yeah, 24 for those two. And then the final one, Newcastle, Alan Shearer and... Les Ferdinand. No, <laughs> you want to get Les Ferdinand in, he's not. Um, he's from Peru. It's Nobby Solano. Oh, the big Nobby. Yeah, yeah. They, those two are lovely. That that era yeah, for I Newcastle. Probably, I probably wouldn't have gone Lionel Shearer or no. Jerry Demanderton, but Firmino, Firmino Salah's the one that I, I'm going to say. Yeah, I think that's the only one that you missed out on. The rest are quite tricky, other than if you've researched this kind of list of duos. You got five, so one ahead of you at the minute. Let's go into the next round. Right, because it was the Carling Cup final, I still call it Carling Cup because I'm stuck in a time warp and I won't change my ways. I want you to name me the last 10 losing finalists, so individual clubs. So obviously a couple of people have lost it more than once in that time. Mm -hmm. well, let's start off with the billion pound boys, Chelsea. Yeah, obviously 2024 Chelsea. Yeah, and the one with Maurizio Sarri when they tried to take off Kepa oh, and he was like, no, 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 I want to do it and then lose the penalty shootout anyway. That is one of the worst decisions I've seen in football in terms of like keeping Kepa but getting rid of Sarri you just lose the dressing room though yeah. if he like stays on do you know what I mean yeah yeah before Chelsea last year was a another goalkeeper related one in a way it was Newcastle United losing to a uh, team in the north of England <laughs> yeah that was the thing with the Bravka couldn't play for Newcastle and they had to play Carrius because yeah, he'd been yeah. on loan at you <laughs> early in the season on, we know his record in finals mm -hmm. not great would be before Newcastle then. City won it against Arsenal. They're definitely in the last 10 at some point. Yeah, Arsenal there, 2018. Yeah. Fifth on the list. So Liverpool would have won. But they, I don't think they would have won it before last, like last week. I'm not going to lie, I do kind of like not pay attention to the League Cup. It's because it FA ends Cup in final. like... I don't remember the finals more. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. FA Cup final, absolutely love it. But League Cup, with it ended in February, I just kind of don't... Pay it all blurs into one. It's traditionally usually City, Liverpool, or Chelsea. Yeah, that's what I mean. But let's just try we'll Liverpool. Play each other in some capacity. Yeah, let's just try Liverpool at some point in the last few years. Yeah, Liverpool 2016, mate. Lovely. And we will try. Ooh, I just thought of one. Tottenham Hotspur when they sacked Jose. Yeah, Spurs 2021. Yeah. That was funny. Sacking Jose before a cup final. I know. Good old Dad Levy. Now we've got five. Let's try Man United. Have you lost a final in the last ten? We've won two in the last ten. Yeah. Not lost final, mate. Oh, you're too good. Too good in these finals. Clinical. When it comes to the Carabao Cup, mate, we are clinical. I think outside of like Premier League kind of thing. I know Birmingham won it like in 08 against Arsenal. But obviously, Arsenal already on the list. Watford was FA Cup final against. Uh, City and they got smashed like 6 0. I don't know for the rest. I'm, I'm, I could have some. I might as well. I've got a couple of lives. So let's try. I don't know why, but I'm going to say Leicester City. Leicester City have a good record in the Carabao Cup in the turn of the century. They won two back to back, but they have not lost in the final in the last 10 minutes, the, unfortunately. I don't know why I want to say Stoke as well. There's no chance Stoke got to a League Cup final. That Tony Pulis team. Ooh, oh, I just thought. Yeah, I oh, know, but they beat, they wouldn't, no. I can't remember if they won it or not. In my head, they did. But I'm going to say them anyway. I'm going to say Swansea City. Swansea City. Yeah. We're in the Carabao Cup final. They were. And they won 5 0. Yeah, I thought so. Who did they? It was Cardiff, wasn't it? Or something? Was it? Oh, they was beat it? Bradford. Bradford, that was it, yeah. Yeah. You so you're missing teams with Bradford 2013. Yeah. <laughs> it's the other South Wales team you lost in 2012. To Liverpool, wasn't it? Yeah. Steven Gerrard's cousin missed the penalty. Yeah. yeah. The conspiracy theorists out there. And I. Iconic winning goal, 2014, Sunderland, Yaya Torre, absolute screamer. 2017, comeback final, we United won it against Southampton. And 2020 was Aston Villa. Aston Villa in a League Cup final in 2020. Yeah. Was that Gerrard? Was that? Oh, was no. He brought him, it was Dean Smith, that was it, yeah. So they went from playoff final in 2019 to League Cup final 2020. What a time. And a they're on the march again now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they should win the Europa League. They've got Ajax next round, though. But they've had a terrible season. Right, into your final round then. And since you're a Man United fan, got your nice one. I'm not going to name me. 
are Sir Alex Ferguson's 10 most expensive Manchester United transfers. So just a Fergie over then. Yeah. Right. Who is he paid oh. for the most? Well, Juan Sebastian Varon. It's a nice place to start. At uh, 28 million, he is number three on the list. Right. So he was the record, and that was 2001. I'll give you the year. Uh, one. So Varon. Varon was old one. I think he was the only flop on this list, to be fair. The rest are all oh. good. Usually when we spend money, we, they mess up. Mm. Um, but maybe there's one other you could debate, but I think he still did well at the club. Not as bad as Veron anyway. So he was Veron was so it's right this down, so I've got a reference. He point. was twenty eight million. From twenty eight and he was third. Yeah. Oh I know one, Rio Ferdinand. Rio Ferdinand is number two on the list at thirty million. Still missing number one. Oh he was O two? Yeah, O two, following season. Was Rooney thirty million as well? Rooney was twenty seven million, according to this please, uh, article. Please, so he's four. number four. Yep, number four. Rooney was 27, that was all four. He did resign after that then in 2005. 2005 was a shambles year. We did sign Vidic, but he was only 7 million. Signed Evra, Jemba Jemba. Louis Sahar was around then. He must have cost a bit. Oh, uh, Dimitar Berbatov. Dimitar Berbatov is number one on the list, 31 yes. million. Right. So you got the top four at least. Now you're looking for under 27 million. And Percy was 20, and this Roy was around 20. Nani was about 13. Ronaldo was about 13. Ah, Greaves, about 17. Raphael, three. Ferdinand, Vidic, seven million. Evra, about five million. Giggs, obviously, three. Carrick. Oh, Carrick could be there. Ronaldo. No, not Ronaldo. Anderson. Anderson. I'll put a star on Anderson. Javier Hernandez. Oh, there's so many who are like in the teens. Yeah. Right. Who else have we got? I'm Shinji. I've got, I'll try Shinji Kagawa. Shinji Kagawa from Borussia Dortmund is not terrible. Oh, no not way. On, not on this list. I think he was one of uh, his last... Uh, to be honest, he'd probably be about 11, 12. I think he's just outside. On another day, maybe. I had him, yeah, he was 25 million. No, he was 16 million euros. So at least you got a bare assessment of where the bottom is now. Yeah, we've just got so many uh, mm -hmm. condensed. I'll try Robin Van Persie, just to try and get, because I know he was 20. Yeah. Robin Van Persie was number five on the list at 24 million. Oh, was it? 24? I think that oh, might have been with add-ons. So you signed him at 20 and then won the title and it yeah. adds to 24, something like that anyway. Was that euros? Pounds, 24 million pounds. Oh, I, yeah. I, I had five. And Kago in Euros. I've got yeah. two different lists because it's like a list of Fergies, then it's a list of United's biggest signings. Right. There's got to be more between 04 and 13. Kago's my favourite ever player as well, so if you don't say him and he's not and he's there, I'll, I'll be... Tony Valencia, he's at 16. David De Gea. Try David De Gea. David De Gea from Atletico Madrid is tenable. He's number seven on the list. Hold on. Getting there. How much was he? 18.9 million. He was 2011. Yeah. 2012. 11. Not too sure why you got rid of him. I know Ten Hag wants to go in a different direction with somebody could pass, but the fact that he's a free yeah, agent at the minute, it's... He's still not got a club, has he? Yeah, it's a bit weird that. I think maybe his wage demands. That's the problem, the like, yeah. Like, nobody wants to pay 300 grand for a goalie. Nobody other than Man United is going to do that, so he's got to look at, like, maybe, like, 150, realistically. Yeah. Some of that in and around my thoughts now, like, Jones and Smalling, just because we had got them from English clubs, do you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. English tax. Well, poor hold on them, because I think so was 10 and I saw Phil Jones what, just after we signed him and he had some top man bag so I don't think he signed on if he was that big but if De Gea is 18.9 I'll, I'll go Van Nistelrooy then Rude Van Nistelrooy is number 6 on the list at 19 million just more just slightly more than uh, David De Gea I mean some player though that was all one yeah you don't really like somebody said that Haaland is kind of like a Van Nistelrooy in the fact that he's in the box he's always there to get the last touch and that's you don't get those many strikers anymore Back in the day, like Carrie Lineker and stuff, do you know what I mean? Just yeah, just pure poacher, box. yeah. I'm going to try Michael Carrick. Michael Carrick, manager of Middlesbrough at the minute. Is tenable. He's number eight on the list. 18.6 million. Oh, you never liked him. Mm -hmm. How much is he? 18? Yeah, 0.6 million. That was 2006. Yep. Right. Carrick was, I'm sure Anderson... I, I'm sure when we got Anderson and Nanny, because we got him in the same summer, one was 18 and one was 17. I'm sure. But maybe that's because Nanny was 17 squad number. Yapstam. So I can Yapstam. Mm -hmm. Anderson. I'll try Yapstam. Yapstam. Back in 98 or... Yeah, 1998, 99 season. And PSV was 17 million euros. He's not terrible, unfortunately. 
just outside. Eighteen point six is. Uh, so the euro, so obviously, uh, like euros is like a couple mil down. So that'll be like fifteen million pounds. One life left. Two players to go. I'll tell you, you've, you've not mentioned one of the names that is on this last turn. So I'm just going through like track thirteen, Team Young. Valencia. I'll try Ashley Young. I think it was 18. Ashley Young from Watford. Actually, it was Aston Villa. Villa. Sorry. Yeah, it was Villa. Was unfortunately just under the threshold at 18 million euros. So he's not tenable. Weirdly, this 10 that I got from this uh, article has Owen Hargreaves at number 9 at 17 million. And then Antonio Valencia at number 10. However, Anderson is 31 million euros because he moved in the same window as Hargreaves. So I think yeah. I think I would have allowed you. Anderson because this article isn't right because Anderson here says 31.5 million euros and then Hargreaves 25 million euros so I don't quite get they've just not done their research you know whoever's whoever's uh, who's written this article let's call them out Dan what are you doing mate come on update it yeah I'll, I'll take it just like, we had a lot of like there's a lot around that question like the, that 18 million pound mark the of each other. yeah yeah you've done quite well with the eight there makes it interesting at least going into the final round Okay, so obviously it was famed clot kids mm -hmm. that won the cup. I want to know, as of December 2023, where I've seen this article, the 10 youngest Premier League goal scorers. Weirdly, I think I did do this a while ago. Oh, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'll get the 10, to be fair. There is a few interesting ones. I will start off with the one that played for Derby, James Vaughan. Might be the, Vaughan, is yeah. he the youngest of all time. He's the longest on this list, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. So he's still got it, at least. Then we will go for Marcus Rashford from Man United. Right. Max Rashford was very young that day. That debut scored two against Midtjylland and then backed it up with a goal against Arsenal. But he's not tenable. He's not tenable. Wow, that's no. that's interesting. No Rashford, because he must have been about eighteen-ish at that point. Cause yeah. he's, he's been around forever now. Because he was at that twenty sixteen Euros, wasn't he? Yeah. Who else do I know? He's on that list for sure. Because I mean, I've literally done the list in the past, but I just cannot. Because I've done so much, it's like trying to remember. Let's try again. It's a bit borderline, but I'm going to try Michael Owen. My Michael Owen burst onto the scene. One of England's youngest ever goal scorers. Yeah. Was he in the Prem? He was tenable, mate. Yeah. Thank God for that. You doubt your whole life when things like that aren't right. Because he's just like, his career like kind of stopped at like 23, 24. Had I mean, that... he still got managed to get a Ballon d'Or in there. Yeah. I mean, that's what I mean. He hit the top really young and then it's difficult to, what well, with the injuries and whatnot. When you said burst on the scene, I, I was really tempted to say Micah Richards as my next guess. <laughs> Surely not. We will try. I want to say there is a Man United one. There is a Man United. One on there. Yeah, and there's another United player, but this goal wasn't for United. Mm. Let's go for Wayne Rooney then. <laughs> Remember the name, Wayne Rooney, yeah. against Arsenal. Yeah, iconic goal. Have you seen he's um, interested in Misfits boxing with like KSI and stuff? He was like, "Yeah, give, oh, no. give us a fight." That that'd be quite funny. Just <laughs> KSI versus Rooney. I mean, you'd be fuming if you felt badly, aren't you? You're smart, not like badly in the kitchen. Yeah, he loves the boxing. I think you'll get into football content boxing in, in the end, finger. You again the front three that'd be a good UFC tag team fight weirdly I think there's a lot a lot of English on here because it's just like oh, I would give the youth kid a chance yeah it's predominantly English mm -hmm. there are a couple of uh, yeah. foreign players let's try for our next player a bit of Mason Greenwood is he on the list Mason Greenwood he's not on any list of mine mate he's not actually oh, I, I thought he was the Man United one I really did want to say it but I was like he might be on it but no who would it be for Man United then if it's not him I'll give you a clue for the United one. Yep. It is an iconic goal. Come iconic on. commentary with the goal. I'm thinking about Federico Makeda, but surely not. Who else? Is it post? Yeah, it must be post 2000 to be fair. Yeah. Man United iconic commentary. It's a key goal in the title race. Hmm. I just can't, I can't think of it at the minute. I'm just going to try uh, Danny Welbeck to be final guess. It's not Danny Welbeck, mate. No, it's someone go. synonymous for Welbeck. They, they had the debut on the same day. Federico Makeda. It was Makeda. That's the more annoying yeah. thing. When you said the answer, then go, now I'll go Danny Welbeck. No, yeah. I should have gone Makeda. That's, you you uh, played but, your poker face well there because I thought when your, when your reaction was like, no, don't go Makeda. So I went Welbeck. I know how you can judge off me. So yeah, I just yeah. had to keep keep free another one just synonymous with football trivia I suppose um, James Milner yeah that's a good one yeah for Leeds he'll probably end up being the youngest and end up being the oldest because you'll play till he's 52 <laughs> next one one of the best midfielders of all time in the Prem uh, Cesc Fabregas very good next one was I mean this just sounds like a mate of your uncle's Andy Turner I don't think I would have got that one that, that's the <laughs> one that's yeah. yeah really good player next for Newcastle Lewis Myler yeah that's a more recent one true yeah another 
relatively recent one, Daniel Jebison, Sheffield United. So yeah. That was a couple of years ago. Yeah. And number 10 on the list, really synonymous with being like a young startlet, but actually made it, Raheem Sterling. Sterling. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. He was there early at Liverpool. So yeah, you do with the episode, Jamie. Well done. Man United knowledge coming out on the top. I mean, the fact that I've done the category before and I've not remembered what the names are on the list, that's that's even worse. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you check out Jamie, drop him a follow and all that good stuff on the social medias. Drop a like on the video and we'll catch you all next time.